It's good to get the boys there. Sats and Woogie, all thanks to Best Sheds. 25% off the entire range. Hello, gentlemen. How are we? Hey, guys. Oh, good, mate. How good. are you? Oh, fantastic. We're all a bit tired because yeah. we all made a sort of a, a bit of a dip at trying to watch as much as we could of the champs on their way to winning the World Cup. Did you boys get to catch much of it? Yeah, watched most of it and then did what I think most people do is I wake up early this morning, don't read any news and then go on and on KO or YouTube and just watch the highlights and see the end of it. So yeah, it was exciting, wasn't it? At one stage here, I thought when we were three for, I thought I thought the size of the stadium, the crowd was going to overwhelm the Aussies a little bit too much, but they silenced them, didn't they? A hundred percent. I don't think I've mm. seen that kind of silencing no. in sporting arena as pronounced as that. Have you? Not since Simon and Garfunkel wrote the sounds of silence. <laughs> have I? <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, no, but it was it was heady. Like I, I know. We've been waxing lyrically uh, about uh, Travis, but he just, the way he plays, he's fearless, isn't he? He's not yeah. worried about getting out. Obviously, It's interesting listening to Simon O'Donnell saying that he thinks he's the next Australian skipper, it doesn't matter, mm. in all three formats, yeah. Oh, where's, okay. the wa- where's the wave come from, where, where he waves? Oh, yes. Yeah, when he did, did the one-arm wave. So apparently when he when he got Klassen out, Klassen, is that how you yeah, pronounce it? South you know, the South African yeah. bloke? And yeah. he sent him to the pavilion. So he sent him off and he did like the little wave. like you know, Oh, so it. go away sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. The, mm. the Zamper, uh, he seems like an interesting uh, character. <laughs> I don't you like his hearing. Bi- <laughs> no, it's a bit 1985 for you. Yeah. So and his sailor A little, little bit aha, uh-huh, you know, the group. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, but yeah. Um, um, yeah, he was doing the, um, both he and Daniel Vittorio were doing the crocodile cat clap. That, yeah, what is that? Yeah, well, tell me what that sure. is. Not sure. Don't know what it is. Mm. Mm, Must be a bit of an injury. now. Yeah. Um, now, boys, what's uh, schoolies been like? Yeah, pretty quiet actually. Yeah, yeah it's not where not where I live. Yeah. I didn't even know it was on. Yeah, they're not as crazy as what they once were because a lot. Of, I think a lot of the schoolies go overseas now, Fletch and well, should they go to like Indonesia and Fiji and those sort of Fiji. places? Yeah, yeah. Miller's there. No, uh, Reese is there. Reese is there. Sorry, yeah. Reese is there in Fiji. Mm. So F one J one. Did you ever go okay. to schoolies, boys? Yeah, Either I did. Too? Yeah, no. well, living on the Gold Coast. So. No, like but, no, under the age of 25. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yours don't count. Yours don't count. Yeah, no. No, try. Hey, um, um. Sorry, can I just go back to. Yeah. To um, when you went there, yeah. did you um, have any sort of interest with some girls? <laughs> No. When you were at school, no. Oh, okay. No, my, my, see, my father, who was quite strict growing up, he said to me, um, your mother's not going to be here for school this week. I can't supervise you because I've got to work in the pubs. So you need to be home at 8 o'clock on the dot. Oh, so you didn't stay actually in service? No, I wasn't allowed to. Oh. Yeah, I, had to I used to ride my bike in. I'd be home by <laughs> 5 to 8 or my dad would flog me. Okay, yeah, but yeah. well, that doesn't answer the question. What happened before? Nah. No, no. Did you, what no. About like a, a pash? No, no. I was a. Did you have a girlfriend yeah. then? Did from school? No, I was. I was a late bloomer. Were you? <laughs> yeah, very late. But you're bloomer. hairy. You're a hairy man. <laughs> <laughs> the Rubik's had obviously come by then. I've noticed. You reckon that. he was early to the Rubik's party? So no, that's... well, he's saying he's a late bloomer. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Right. He, I reckon he was. I reckon 13, 12. <laughs> yeah. 12? Yeah, 12. Sats, am I right? Yeah. I remember. I had. I remember. I started getting hairs on my armpits. When I was about grade eight, and so I started shaving oh. them because I was that oh. embarrassed. I was the only kid in, sc- in That's grade Craig eight. Gower like. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah, Some was, kids are being filthy, they're too early. Mm. Some are filthy, yeah. they're a bit late. What about mm. now, gentlemen? Um, all the rage with younger people is the trimming of mm. the Rubik's. Yeah. Are yep. you getting into that gear, either of you two? <laughs> Woogie? No. <Nah. Sats>? No. <laughs> no, no, just let it all hang out. No. I'm thinking no, about yeah. doing it. What about gray, what about grey Rubik's? I got a few grey Rubik's here. Yeah, really? Well, yeah, grey. Who looks yeah. that closely? <laughs> Me, oh, Christian Grey. Well, what do you mean? Who looks that closely? When I'm washing with the soap, or I got the towel, <laughs> yeah. I look down there. I'm, I'm starting. I think I'm going to just get the. I might get the girl's scissors and just trim it. Oh, right. oh, oh, that's no. cruel. And then put it straight back in the pencil case. <laughs> <laughs> With the Rubik's in there. Oh, oh that'd be no. rank. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, what else, boys? What's going on? Oh, what about Rat? Yeah. Rat might be right. What about What's this that? for news? So, because you know how over in, we're talking about aliens, you know how they had a... Um, 
some sort of uh, parliament, where they call it parliament, what do they mm. call it? The Senate. Senate yeah, inquiry yeah, yeah. about yeah. aliens. And they came yeah. out and said, yes, they're definitely, we've, ha- we've been hiding it. Mm. Well, they're mm. saying that the aliens are living underwater. What? Yep. <laughs> so these, p- these aliens yeah. that he's talking about living deep, deep underwater. Oh. Yeah. Now, I, what do we keep not, buying into this garbage? I'm not it's buying fish. into it, but I'm you very You do intrigued. buy into a Fletch. You're a... I'm not a buyer. No, you're, no, a you're a closet. You're a closet. You are. I, I, not a closet. No, I'm not a closet. <laughs> I just, yeah. I'm opening my eyes up mm. to other things other than living in Bondi. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the only one. Sorry? I don't buy it. I'm not buying no. it. Mm. Well, speaking of buying, Sugar's not mm. buying, and he's a mad tiger man. We know it. He loves uh, he loves the Tigers. He's not buying Olam, and it's got nothing to do with Justin Olam. Now for Bloor, no. He said, "No, nah, not going to work. I don't want another signing like this." No, what it is, boys. I, I don't want to do business with the Melbourne Storm. If if um, Warren Buffett wanted to sell me shares, he knows too much about shares. I don't want to buy off Warren Buffett. I, I I just respect the Melbourne Storm too much. I went through a long list of players who, unless they were a young kid on the rise, Tino, Nico, Harry Grant, loadout. Typically, I think. The Melbourne Storm win in almost every transaction. Mm. Um, Frank Panisi and co there. I, I, I do not wish to do business with the Melbourne Storm. And I say that out of great respect to them. What would you? What, who do you think would win the trade if it was Justin Olam or any other person for Sean Bloor at the Tigers? Well, we talked about this on Saturday, Sats, and the text machine blew up. And Melbourne fans are all for it. And, like today... West Tigers fans don't want a bar of it. Well, Melbourne, I think Melbourne win because they they really they re- really need another sort of middle forward, don't they? And Sean Bloor's a potentially a very good future first grade player. You know, he'll play many many games in first grade. Yeah, my main concern for Justin Olam is that from from reports he's lost that hunger. You know that that you know, that yeah. streak that he's got in him where he just likes to put the fear but of God he, into everyone. Does he just need a change of scenery, Sats? Mm. Possibly. No, but Woogie, I've... Woogie, we, we, the, the club itself, and I've said this for years, we have made it our little penchant to, to sign fixer-uppers. Like, if he's lost the love of it, isn't it quite arrogant if we think that we can fix him? You know, we've been down this path a million times, and I, I just, we've, we've got to break this trend. Like, I just, I don't, there is so many young up-and-coming centres... Well, okay. I'd rather I'd rather invest in two or three of those. Okay, are you all right? The ones currently now or yep. the last game? Who was that? Was it um, who played in the centre? Well, the young oh it's Stafford Tower and Young Tilly has gone to Manly. Okay, well, there's an opening. He, he was a good young player. We need, we need a centre. There's no doubt about that. Okay, you need a centre. So, so what, why didn't we sign Young Talia? Like, well, why have we let him go? And now I'll, we're going to end up paying more for for somebody who we don't know if he's. Well, we don't know if he's paid for more. I don't mind it if the. If the dollars make sense, and he's and Olam is available, he's better than what they've got there. Okay. Yeah, well, I agree. Right, I agree with you, Fletch. I'm I'm taking it also because it's just so difficult for the West Tigers to get anything that's of of any quality at the moment. I think okay, Justin so the Olam centers, still the has centers, a bit of quality. Okay, the, the centers were. And I'll just try and the, the young kids, uh, Tristan Riley, and yep. Josh Felity. They were mm-hmm. the centers in the last game last year. So he's obviously giving. That was Sheensy giving some young blokes a run. Yes. Yeah. But I think you need all of them. If it's if it's available, the numbers stack up. No, yeah, I agree. Sugar? Are you re- no. Are you willing to go again with an inferior player or inexperienced player? You'd rather that. I'd rather a kid on the rise. I I, I just think that he was playing reserve grade not so long ago. Yeah, but it's, yeah. And how it's, old and is all the... How old is he? And what and what would you what would he be getting? What would it cost the West Tigers? Well, I reckon he wouldn't be on March down there. I would say he's on 300, 350. 29 years old. And he's 29. Yeah. He's still got plenty of footy ahead of him, Sugar. Asu Kapoa, yeah. he's, he's there. He's, he's a good player. Yeah. Good player. He's a good player. Mm. Okay. He, no, I'm you know, taking it. Because it's the West Tigers, I'm taking it, I think. 300, 300K. Are you happy with it, Sugar? I, 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 would no. ra- I would rather raid the Panthers' stocks. They've got that many kids coming through. I'd rather throw – if it's 300K, I, I'd rather pay 200 for an up-and-comer. I don't know what that Jesse McLean's worth. and maybe they would Olam's only go. 29. Yeah, I know. I, I know that. He looks 49. Yeah, but I, I know that. I, I Stafford Tor, okay. Stafford Tor's there. He, yeah, he's, he's there. Handy. I, I don't know. I just – Sean Bloor is, is, looks to me, he looks like an out-and-out first grader. Mm. Who could who could cause some real carnage? 
Anyway, yeah. we'll see. But but as you know with these things, Sats, um, we don't know the relationship between the Melbourne Storm and Oldham and what happens behind the scenes. We also don't know the relationship between Sean Bloor, the West Tigers, and what happens behind the scenes. So, yeah, exactly. Um, I, I just have great reservations in doing business with the Melbourne Storm out of great respect to them. A- anyway, boy, just, boys, I want to ask you about the hoo-ha. And, and this conversation is made harder. We know that Kempi, who's alumni here at SNZ, he was very, very vocal prior to the Pacific Championship final around the fact that he, amongst others, did not want Madge to be coaching New Zealand and particularly after the fact that he you know, looked as though he was going to be signing on for the New South Wales Blues. I don't personally have an issue with it. I don't believe that the New South Wales Rugby League have any issue with it. What, what do you boys think about it? And particularly, they, they flogged Australia, which mm. we've never seen that sort of thing happen. I love Kempi's passion. And I love where he's coming from because he wants, a, obviously, a New Zealand, um, New Zealand identity to be coaching the Nationals, so which, which I like. But And I think there needs to be uh, uh, probably a... A contingency plan where Madge maybe gets someone positioned to take on that role as part of his coaching team, and um, but I think when you start questioning, when you start questioning individuals, you start questioning their integrity, and he's a man of great integrity, Madge. Oh, like he'd be able to separate both of them. So I think when you start questioning his integrity, I'd, I, I, yeah, I'm not a big supporter of it. I, he can do both jobs. Uh, but I think there needs to be some sort of succession plan eventually where a, a Kiwi coach takes over eventually. But well, Stacey, the, oh, sorry, Joel, Stacey Jones told us that mm. he addressed all the players about it. Not one player uh, in that New Zealand team has a problem with it. In fact, they support Madge on it. Mm. So where's the noise coming from? The ex-players? ex-players. Just all the ex-players. And, and, who, and Who are the ex-players? Do, do we know them? Well, more than, well, like I said, one of our colleagues, uh, Tony Kemp, has, has been quite vocal about it. And, again, I can see the reasoning behind it. But while you're winning, don't rattle a cage. Yeah. But yeah. you're right, Sats, he... like, it, like it's inevitable, right? It's, it's inevitable that um, as soon as he has one slip-up, which is going to happen, it's happened to Mal. Yeah. Mm. The moment he has a slip-up, they'll be charging for him, won't they? Right, oh, so yeah, if, you're, if you're mad, you're thinking, well, I've got the Blues job. But he obviously enjoys it. Yeah. But I, mm. I, my understanding from the New South Wales Rugby League Board's point of view is that their position, my understanding, is that Mate, we've got him for X amount of months to be all in for the Blues, and if he wants to go and coach New Zealand... Well, it's a part-time job. Yeah. The New South really, Wales like, job, so... Like Matt, Matt well, doesn't need you? to be involved in, in the under-17s and 16s and that of New Zealand, and he's not going to be poaching people to say, mate, come and play for this team. Or well, I don't personally have any issue with it, but I'm not New Zealander, so yeah. I can't comment from that point of view. Joel, what about the Raiders, though? Isn't that the job that he should give up? Well, that's that to me... He probably is, might. Yeah, it's untenable. Might. That, that just mm. won't happen. I, yeah. I can't. There's not a, a world in which we live in where I can see Madge being at the Raiders next year. Not if he gets mm. the two years he wants with the Blues. That's that's what he wants. Yep. And they've only offered him a year. Yep. Mm. Which seems ridiculous. As 032 saying on the text line, has he actually signed? Well, has it actually officially been? No, no I don't believe so. It, but it's He's been the, mooted. I love that word. Mooted, yeah. yeah but I, love I think mooted. it's just. Uh, <laughs> Hey, can I can well, I throw up well, a Mickey? What are you laughing at? What's wrong with saying I mooted? Just, you, you make a perfectly safe word sound unsafe. Mm. It's not. It's mooted. <laughs> hey, boys, you'll like this, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, Get your I, mind out of the gutter, alien lover. <laughs> yeah. Boys, you'll like this. <laughs> yeah. You'll, like, you'll enjoy this, right? So I had a beer on the weekend with a bloke, let's call him Smoucher, right? right? Yep. An SAS man. And the Cronulla Shark, a lot of people say this particular individual should have been given the 19th or 20th premiership ring for the Sharks when they won in 2016. So mm-hmm. there was a couple of players within the group who maybe not been heading the right way and maybe had some troubles going on at the time. And he was doing so much with these players to the point where they played major roles in the tilt towards the premiership for the Sharks. So he's yep. just a salt-of-the-earth player. And he, and he was talking about separately, um, these players weren't those players, but he was saying, you know, we're talking about the Australian um Wallabies coach, former Wallabies coach being Eddie Jones. And he spoke about when he was going through the Sharks, the professionalism and preparation that he saw from the likes of Ennis, Lewis and Gallon, those three in particular, were so meticulous, right? But he said they weren't in the same level as Michael Hooper. Hooper, who was banished by Eddie Jones. And this is an SAS man who, what they do for our country is more than any athlete can Mm. do. And, Mm. And he could not believe that he was treated by... Eddie Jones in the same, same fashion that he was. And and this is Michael Hooper, 
who an SAS man has right up here. Right. Yeah. It doesn't look good for Eddie, does it, boys? No, it doesn't. I mean, listen to a couple of the ex uh, rugby union officials and, and former players over the weekend um, talking about how they supported his they supported his appointment, but as soon as he got in there, he just basically changed everything. The psychologist came in, and um, the psychologists were, for more reports, paid an exorbitant amount to to do an assessment on every player and. Um, and basically, yeah, it changed the whole landscape, which when Dave Rennie had them, you know, we only beat Wales, what, 18 months ago? Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're still not going that bad, not as good as what we'd like to, but to come in and just change everything, yeah, it was, you know, they, a lot of people could see the, the writing on the wall pretty early. Boys, I want to go back to uh, the Tigers. What about this one? Yeah. Yep. What about we knock on Fitzy's door and mm-hmm. we say, Fitzy, we want Connor Tracy. Much better. Oh. Okay, hang on. But Bloor's going. B- Bloor's going to Cronulla? Yep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Are you happy yeah. with that? It, actually, now that you say that, if I'm Cronulla, I'd be doing exactly that. So you're Cronulla. Yep. I'm knocking on the door. I say, Craig, yep. it's Fletch. Yeah, yeah uh, ben, Benji, it's uh, Craig. Um, <laughs> yep. I'm reading about this Olam swap for Bloor. We would love to have him. And as much as he's done for us, Connor Tracy, we'd rather you guys pay him and... And, and take him. Oh, that 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 to me is a far like a better flat. result. Yeah, yeah, yep, far okay. better. As All much right. as they would hate to lose Connor Tracy. I know. What about though? I'm Benji. Yep. Hello, Benji. No, I'm Craig. I'm Craig. <laughs> okay, Craig. What are okay, you doing? Yeah. Not much. I'm yeah. just. Um, what are you just doing? Knocking on my door. Breathing <laughs> techniques. No, I can't give you Connor Tracy because yeah. he's just. But I'll give you, uh, uh Telekai. Okay. Yep. So yeah, Sifat yeah. Telekai. Yes, please. Yes, yep. please. I'll play okay, that. so you're going to take yep. him yep. and whack him in the centres for the Tigers. I, I, I would prefer mm. to make that trade. Then yeah, I'd, rather, I'd rather deal with the Sharks, no disrespect to the Sharks, and then, then, then I would the Melbourne Storm on an older player where I've given you the list. The older players who they've let go, Sands, Torhu, Harris, who's doing the similar... That's just mm. the personality here. What about Noddy? Uh, <laughs> what about Matt Orford? Went on to get a Tally M medal. Yeah. That's a long time ago. Hello. Yeah, it's well, Fitzy again. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Uh, trading here on a Monday. What else, boys? Anything else before we go? Any shows you've been delving into? Uh, you've watched Last Stop, Larimer. No, we're not whispering to each other. Whispering each other. Yeah. Yeah. That was um, me. Oh. Hey, Brooksy Get Gotti. Have you watched Get Gotti? Oh, that was good. Yeah, really good. Is that good? Yeah, on Netflix. Is yeah, that worth Get getting into? Yeah, yeah, yeah enjoyable. It's really and good. Millie Vanilli. You Millie watch, Vanilli. Watch the Millie yeah, Vanilli Yeah, watch that Is that pretty good, is it? Oh, boys, what about the quote in Millie Vanilli? This is a cracking quote. Do you know what I'm going to say, Brian? Stairs. Yeah. What if it, this is a great quote. So, lies. They would have said it. Lies eh? take the elevator and truth takes the stairs. Mm. It's just coming. <laughs> it's eventually going to get there. Is that, gonna, right. is, that, is, that, is that line going to be stolen by you with, for many months to come now? Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be stolen like by yours. Brooksy, Tide rises Bro- and elevators and stairs. <laughs> and... Boys, before we go, A grade. Yeah. It's a Monday or a Michael. Who have you got? Oh, well, I've got uh, A grade Max Verstappen. He's just yeah, mine He's as well. the king A grade. But the Mickey... Hospital sandwiches. What? <laughs> hospital yeah. sandwiches. No. Private hospital sandwich. Not not public. Yeah, private hospital. Yeah. No, nah, just any hospital sandwiches. No. What, what do you I've think of when you think Mickey. hospital sandwich? I just think of a plain cheese one. No, I'm thinking no, of that no. rank egg. Oh. Rank egg yeah, one. eggs. That's the, oh, that is the Mickey. You can't yes. have Soggy eggs lettuce. with sam- You can't have eggs with nah. sandwiches. You can't have two whites. You're wrong. Really? No. Nah. Can I two extend on? Ain't right. <laughs> I'm going I'm to extend on his. Hospital sandwich, any triangle sandwich. They are the best, yeah. boys. Yeah. They on, are the what? best. <laughs> Sad. Were yeah. you stealing from patients? Like, how did you get the sandwich? <laughs> hey, oh, I don't you mean say the butter's really bad for you, but they put so much butter on the sandwiches in a hospital. Oh, how did you, so good. How, yeah. Were you in hospital lately? or? Yeah, this morning. Oh, Too okay. long. Too long a story. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. boys, we'll chat later. I hope everything's okay. But Satsa will be thanks. I hope you got a bird off. I hope they came <laughs> off. 25% off the entire rain sale on now. Visit bestshares.com.au. And people are texting in. Fell off. What's the Ruby? The grey Rubik's. People are texting in saying, where's the opera? Wow. There's real concerns wow. yeah, about where's where Daddy the opera are. Yes. Run over Joel and Fletch.